so hello everyone welcome to our new video today we are going to learn about the implementation of graph so this is the continuation of the previous video where we learned about what is a graph what is a path what are the different categorizations what are the different types of graphs okay so this is the continuation of that previous video if you have not watched that video then i will give the link of that video in the i button up there you can go through the video and then you can come back and continue with this video okay so now our topic for today is the implementation of graph now i have seen many students that they know about graphs they have a very good idea but they are afraid of writing the programs on it thinking that how are we going to do the implementation it will be too tough no it is not at all the implementation is very easy so for the implementation there are two different ways one is adjacency matrix and the other one is adjacency list for making adjacency matrix we use a 2d array and for using a adjacency list we either use a map with a list or we may also use a vector with sets to make adjacency list okay so these are the two different ways so today i am going to discuss only about adjacency matrix that how does that actually work okay so now let's just take a simple undirected and unweighted graph and see how we are going to do the implementation of graph using a adjacency matrix or a 2d array okay so suppose this is our graph here with the nodes 0 1 2 and here we have 3 these are the edges here done now what we have to do here we have to make a 2d array we have to make a matrix here so now depending upon how many nodes do we have okay so how many nodes do we have here we have here total four nodes so here we have to make a matrix of four cross four sides okay so this is the matrix here now what are we going to do now as i have said before in the previous video that whenever the weight of any graph is not given it means the weight of every edge is equal to one we are going to consider them by default as equal to one okay so here we have four edges and we have made a 2d matrix of four cross four done so now the next thing is wherever we have an edge for that particular edge we are going to add the weight in the matrix so here what are we going to do wherever we have an edge we are going to store a one in this graph itself okay so now if we consider about edges between 0 to 3 how many edges do we have one no we have two edges we have one edge which is going from 0 to 3 and we have another edge which is going from 3 to 0 so we have to consider both the edges while doing the implementation here okay so now this is the graph right so here i am going to consider this as how is it going it will be going from this age to that age it will be coming out of this age or we can also say it as from and it will be going here it means to from this nodes to those nodes it will be coming out of this nodes it will be going in those nodes here okay so now if i just consider about the node 0 so it, do we have any node from 0 to 0 no we don't have do we have any node from 0 to 1 yes we have so here i am going to store here as 1 do we have any node from 0 to 2 no we don't have 0 to 3 yes we have a node from 0 to 3 so here comes a 1 similarly check for the node 1 from 1 we have edges going to 0 and 3 here so here comes a 1 and here comes a 1 wherever we have a node just place a 1 for that corresponding cell okay then from 2 we have only node here only a single node here to node 3 from node 3 we have 3 edges going to 0 1 and 2 so all this so all these nodes will be storing here as a one okay so now wherever it is empty it means we don't have a edge so just mark there as a zero okay so zero 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 
zero zero zero and a zero here. So total, how many edges do we have here? We have here total four edges. So here we are going to have total eight ones in this matrix here. One two three four five six seven and eight. So this is how we are going to do the implementation of a undirected unweighted graph using a adjacency matrix here. Okay. So now here let's talk about a weighted and along with that a directed graph also. I am not going to make different. Uh, I'm not. I'm not going to show you different examples for weighted. Uh, different example for uh, directed graph. Uh, simply the previous the previous the previous example was a simple one which was unweighted and undirected but this one is going to be a directed as well as a weighted one okay so i have taken the same graph here now let's uh, implement uh, one more edge here let's say uh, age between 0 and 2 so now let's just give the directions so this is one direction done done Done. I have given the directions here. So this has now become a directed edge. So now let's give the weights here 5, 6, 7, 10, and 2. I have total how many? I have total 5 different edges, and for 5 different edges, I have given separate weights also here, right? So done. So now in this case, what are we going to do? In this case, we are going to store the weights there, not one. We are storing one because we were considering one as the by default weight but right now we are given with the actual weights so the actual weight has to be stored there in the adjacency matrix here so now where do we have the ages here if i see from zero so from the age zero i have only two ages going one is going to three and the other one is going to six between zero and two it is coming inside zero it is not going out of zero it is coming in so here we are just going to consider 5 and 6 here, the, the nodes 3 and 1. So for the node 1, we have the weight here as 6 and for the node 3, we have the weight here as 5. Done. Now check from the node 1, from node 1 only, one edge is going out and that is going to the edge 3, which has a weight equal to 2. So done. Next, from node 2, only one Age is going to node 0 whose weight is equal to 7 and here from node 3 only 1 is going to node 2 which has a weight equal to 10. So done. We had 5 different edges. We have 5 boxes. We have 5 cells here filled with the edges here. Now let's mark everything as a 0 here. So here I have marked all the other edges as equal to zero. So this is how we are going to do the implementation of graph using adjacency matrix. So now let's just write a program and see how we are going to write a program on this for doing the implementation, okay? So now here for doing the adjacency matrix implementation of graphs, we need a two dimensional array, right? So here let's start writing a program. So here we have the main function. Now inside the main we have to make a 2D array right. So for making the 2D array first we need to have the size and what is going to be the size? The size is going to be n cross n where n is the number of nodes in the graph. So here I have taken a variable n. Now let's ask the user for entering the number of nodes. Take the input in the variable n. Now I am going to create a 2D array using vectors. So I have to include here as vector header file. So now as it is a 2D array, so we have to create a vector of vectors. So vector of vector of integer, the name of this vector, let's say I am writing it as ADJ, which stands for adjacency. The size of this adjac adjacency matrix is going to be N, where each and every element is going to be a vector here of integer type and every vector here again is of size n again and by default it is going to store a value here as 0. So now we have to ask the user that how many ages do we have. So I have a variable, I have taken an integer variable here as e for the number of it for the number of ages 
and a for loop for taking the inputs for e number of ages here. So for int i equal to 0, i less than e, i plus plus and it is done. So here inside this for loop we need here two variables to store the nodes that from which node to which node is it traveling here. So let's say it is traveling from node u to node v. So this is done and now we have to take the input from the user every time. At every iteration from the user we are going to take the input as a set of two numbers that it is going from which node to which node okay. So c in u and then here we have as v. Now whatever be the age is here. So now if I look at the example that we did just now here is the example right whenever we were whenever we were plotting one here how were we plotting one we were looking for the elements 0 0 and 3 and along with that 3 and 0 both has to be entered so that the values are filled here for 0 3 and here also it is filled for 3 and 0 so all these points has to be simultaneously entered so that is the reason why we why we have here eight ones instead of having only four ones here okay so now let's go back to the program again so now what we have to do we have to mark a one wherever it has to be done so this is the vector here now at the index u and v we have to store the value here as one so now let's just print the entire vector here and see that how are the values getting stored okay so for int i equal to 0 i less than size n then i plus plus another for loop here for the columns int j equal to 0 j also is less than n here and then j plus plus so now at every iteration we have to keep on printing the values that is stored in the vector so c out a d j i j and let's give a backslash t and then after the end of the second looping statement every time we have to go to the new line for changing the row number here and it is done and let's say return 0 okay this is it so this is the entire implementation here okay so now let's first have a look here again at the given example just have a look here once if possible note it down or take a screenshot whatever you want to do here so now let's just keep on entering the values and see if we get the exact same matrix or not okay so let's execute the program here i forgot to give two statements here we have created the variable e for noting down the number of edges but we have not taken the input here so c out enter the number of edges c in take the input here as e and it is done let's execute this so now the number of nodes we had in the given example were 4 done now the number of edges we had total 4 edges but we have to give here double as the number of edges equal to 8 now we have to give from where to where we had so 0 to 1 we had 0 to 3 we had then from 1 we had to 0 and 1 we had to 3 then if we talk about 2 then from 2 we had only 1 edge to the node 3 then from the node 3 we had 1 edge to 0 1 edge to 1 and 1 edge we had to 2 there okay so total we have entered here 8 number of edges so now let's just see if they are getting stored properly or not so yes this is the adjacency matrix this is the 2d array that we were getting there okay and the same values we are getting here when we are doing the implementation we had total eight ones one two three four five six seven and 
8 we have here and all the positions are also correct. So this is how we are going to do the implementation of graphs using adjacency matrix. So if you have any doubts now, give us a comment in the comment section. We will definitely get back to you. If you have liked the video, please press the like button because that gives us a motivation to record a new video every time. And if you have not subscribed to our channel, then please do subscribe to our channel and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you get notified whenever we upload a new video. So thank you very much. Keep learning.